as somebody who's been in Jerusalem through these last horrific few days, how was this taken in Israel? How much of a shock was it? It was a major shock. It was uh, a massacre, a, a scene of butchery, uh, which nobody uh, could, could, could expect. That uh, if you go to some of the uh, kibbutzim along the uh, Gaza Strip uh, border, there are kibbutzim which lost dozens and dozens of people. Of course, people abducted, including children, women, foreign workers, uh, everybody. Uh, there was this uh, party at a certain wood, just two, three kilometers uh, away from Gaza, where they butchered maybe 250 young uh, men and women. Um, that's not something that everybody, that anybody uh, had in mind that it could happen or would happen. I wonder if you could correct uh, the judgment of some people in Australia uh, who seem to think this was a legitimate act of resistance by Palestinians. I'm not uh, even bothering to argue with people uh, who feel like this. Uh, the attempt for the, the uh, uh, last uh, 40 years, 50 years, was to reach an accommodation with the Palestinians. And Israel has made over the years, since the day immediately after the uh, Six-Day War in 67, Israeli, Israel has made different governments under different leadership made an, a num maybe dozen or more different detailed proposals for a, a, a peace agreement with the Palestinians, including accepting uh, a Palestinian state, etc., etc. They were all turned down. All those people who think that this is legitimate in any way should remember that uh, uh, on one of these uh, cases, where a Prime Minister of Israel made a very generous offer to his Palestinian counterpart, President Abbas. Uh, he didn't get an answer. And then President Obama called Abbas to the White House and said to Mr. Abbas, well, what's your answer to the Israeli Prime Minister? And Mr. Abbas said to him, Mr. President, I will come back to you. And never did. Hamas, and we are dealing now with Hamas, not with the Palestinian Authority, Hamas was never interested in any negotiations with Israel. They are all about, very publicly, very openly, all about the destruction of the Jewish state. That's it. So we were trying over the past, let's say, five years, to build up a sort of a working relationship with the enemy providing a whole lot of economic benefits to the Gaza uh, Strip, allowing um, money from uh, Qatar to flow uh, to the treasury uh, of Hamas, allowing about 20,000 Gazans to cross every day and work in Israel to get a salary, a decent salary, uh, a flow of, of goods, and uh, trucks, uh, we were providing electricity to, uh, to Gaza until now. We were providing water. We were pro providing fuel under the wrong assu assumption, as it turns out, that uh, if you uh, improve the situation in the Gaza Strip, Hamas will prove uh, restrained. Total mistake. Yeah. Uh, the... You, you you did this under the under the uh, expectation you were dealing with uh, the Palestinian Authority, but as as you wrote as recently as July, Hamas, which is essentially a, a terrorist organisation, uh, is essentially uh, taken control 
over the Gaza Strip and, and usurped the Palestinian Authority. Yeah, they took over the Gaza Strip in June 2007, a year and a half after Israel unilaterally withdrawn from the Gaza Strip and pulled out all the settlements that were there. But uh, if I may, uh, Nick, if I can call you Nick, the, the, it's a much wider story. What we have here is an, uh, a, preempt, a preemptive strike, ugly, cruel, bloody, by Iran, using its uh, Arab allies' proxies in order to derail the effort which was making good progress for normalization between Israel and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which would have changed the lay of the land, the geopolitics of the Middle East. The Iranians believed, right, right or wrong, that that would constitute a threat to them, and they were out uh, to prevent it. Now, how it was done, through months and months of secret uh, negotiations and deliberations between uh, uh, the uh, uh, Revolutionary Guard uh, leaders, generals, uh, Hamas leaders, and Hezbollah in Lebanon, and what to do. And the outcome, by making it short, was Hamas will attack, adopting a war, a war plan that was originally Hezbollah's, but never implemented by Hezbollah, against the guarantee from Iran and Sheikh Nasrallah that if uh, the Israeli army will invade Gaza in force in order to uproot Hamas from the area, then there will be intervention on other fronts. Hezbollah will use their arsenal of 100 uh, plus thousand uh, missiles. Uh, Iranian uh, sponsored militias in Syria will shoot against the, will start firing to the uh, Golan Heights and they will try to ignite the West Bank and probably some elements amongst uh, Israel's uh, own Arab population, which is about 20% of the general population here.